Hi, I'm Eric Edel for Pro Football Weekly alongside Raiders outside linebacker Cameron Winley. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us. 63 tackles, seven sacks, and a 72-yard interception return, but you didn't score. What happened on that play, man? I'm oh, sorry. Man, it was <laughs> – I got ran down by offensive linemen, man. Oh. They, the guys gave me a hard time on that, but, I mean, it was a great play, great tip by Aaron Curry. I was able to get the pick, and – uh, you know, uh, just a little bit more, I don't know, um, for whatever, and I would have gotten to the end zone. But, I mean, it was it was a great, exciting play. You had a fine season nonetheless. However, it was a little tumultuous out in Oakland. A lot of things mm -hmm. happened this year. The death of Al Davis, your coach was fired. How do you handle things when, when they're like that, when everything seems to be kind of out of control? Well, you just have to be a professional, you know. I mean, that's what we get paid to do is go out there and perform and produce on the field. So you just really have to try to stay focused on that, like, Losing Al D was a big blow for our organization and for the NFL. Uh, I mean, we just had to keep chugging along because we know, you know, what he would have wanted us to do, which is to go out there and play football and try to win games. You have a new head coach in Dennis Allen. He ran the Broncos defense last year, so you did get to see him up close and personal twice last year. Any impressions of what you saw on the field from the Broncos and what he might bring to the Raiders? Their defense was actually impressive this year. They did some good things on defense. Uh, especially with Tebow coming in. I think uh, those guys were able to hold them in the, the game and to where, like, in the fourth quarter, he would make big plays and, and win the game for them. But a lot of credit to their defense. And uh, one of my former teammates, Broderick Bunkley, was over there. Yep. So um, I, we're happy to have him, and we look forward to doing great things with him. What are the chances for improvement from within? Assuming you had nobody in free agency, mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of draft picks, what are the kind of things that you can improve from within uh, within the roster? I think our chances for improvement are great. I mean, we just had a lot of injuries, so I think if we could keep guys healthy, if we could cut down on the penalties and things like that, I think we'll put ourselves in a great position to possibly make it to the Super Bowl next year. I think that we have that type of talent. Cameron Wimbley, thank you very much for, for talking with us today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.